kids aren't getting the initial start to their day from a nutrition standpoint, they're just not going to do as well in school throughout the day. Many children, no matter what household they come from, breakfast has lost its importance. It's rushed often, it's not monitored, um, it's not a time to be together. We have a, a large population and a growing population of students who really aren't coming to school with having had a breakfast. And some of it had to do with resources, some of it had to do with time and, and energy. Kids and families and parents are all scrambling at that important hour of the morning. So when we have a child five or eight or nine sitting in a classroom until lunch at noon with a hungry stomach, it's really at a disadvantage for any child to be hungry while they are engaged in someone attempting to instruct them. As a teacher, it's, it's very useful for a number of reasons. One, that I know that they're eating healthy as opposed to bringing in like ring dings or something they pick up from the uh, grocery store on the way to school. It also gives me a chance to, to talk to the children before we jump into our curriculum. So if I know someone had a you know, difficult night, I can have that conversation over breakfast and get them ready for the learning that has to occur. The kids have to come first, and there's no mess to it. It's simple, it's easy. And to see the smiles on the kids in the morning, it's an easy, easy uh, thing to do. Today is animal crackers. <gasps> String cheese, my favorite. Milk and fruit, who wants it? Raise your hand. I knew it! We were able to get coolers with the help of the New England Dairy and Food Council grant that we received and we use the coolers, we pack the coolers up with the breakfast and the kids come down and they actually enjoy being a part of the delivery process. Every classroom has a trash can outside that students throw the trash and we then just wheel the trash can outside the door and then custodians will come by and clean up. And the nice thing about it is while kids are eating, they tend to stay in their seats and be quiet so they can focus on the work they're doing. There's not a lot of distraction, there is no conversation taking place. When we looked at the way we were going to implement breakfast in our school system, we couldn't do it the same way in every school. So we had to be creative about that. You know, how do we have to adjust to make it work? It is about partnerships. It's about, it's about generating support on multiple levels, your parent um, groups, your school board. Teamwork is, is very important in, in getting breakfast done in school. And if you want to start school breakfast, um, the first thing I would tell you is, is to reach out to those um, that do school breakfast. Just utilize your resources and don't feel like you're in it alone. It really is an opportunity for all of the kids to be on an even playing field when they enter the classroom ready for instruction. As a school district, as a school, as a classroom teacher, as a parent, um, you know, it's important that all kids eat breakfast, not just mine. There are kids, no matter how old you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you do for a living, there are kids and we have to take care of them.